Hey, Matthias Resources. Welcome to our Stream Deck series. So, so many people have been asking about when we're going to finally do our Stream Deck videos. So, here's part one. I'm excited about this. We're going to dive into how we use the Stream Deck to control our, to our switcher. So, without further ado, here's our setup. You're welcome to the control room. This is where video directing happens on Wednesday nights. We've got our multi-view here, our uh, Mac Mini, which is running our ATEM software control, and then our program feed up here. So then, obviously, the, the, the reason we're here, the Stream Deck. So here's how we're going to dive into a little bit of how we have the Stream Deck set up. The idea behind setting this up the way we've got it set up is to try and mimic a actual Blackmagic uh, controller, uh, switcher controller, uh, as best as possible, hardware controller that you can buy. Obviously, this is far cheaper than what you can buy from Blackmagic. So here's how I have this set up. And keep in mind, this is entirely personal. This is how I prefer to use it. There's um, many, many ways to, to skin this cat, so to say. So this is the way I do it, and I'm going to walk you through how I programmed all the buttons on here and why I have them programmed the way they are. And um, yeah, I'd love for you guys to try it out. I'll leave links in the description for all of the, the companion software that we use to run it, and then I'll even leave the configuration file that I use on a Wednesday night for this Stream Deck. Um, so you guys can download that, import it in, and, and see how it works. Um, companion Software is what we use to run on our Stream Decks. I prefer that over uh, the Elgato software that comes with it. So it's easy. Companion's an open source download. You can download it, install it, and then um, plug it in, and it it's a plug-and-play software. So we'll go over this first. The way I have the Stream Deck set up is as similar as I could, like I said, to an actual hardware um, control panel. So the bottom row is my preview bus. For obviously, we have a television studio, so we only have one mix effect, one ME. So, um, this is the, the preview bus, and then the top row is the program bus. They all light up accordingly. So, right now, you'll see that camera four is red in both the program and the preview bus. So, we know that camera four is, is live in program. If I select camera three here, it puts camera three up in preview and turns it green here. Same thing for any of the cameras. Um, and then I use this just to, for my left hand, I run the Stream Deck and put my cameras in preview. And then I use my right hand on just the keyboard spacebar shortcut when you're on ATEM software control. And that is what I actually use to cut between shots. So I had it set up previously with the cut button actually on the Stream Deck. But I just found for me, I'd rather have my hand separate as I'm running instead of both of them on such a small little surface. So. Let's dive into uh, Companion and how we have this, this programmed. So we'll go ahead and open up Companion. I've already launched the GUI so we can open up Safari. And we see here, we'll go to Buttons and go to the right page. So here's how we have it set up. Companion is really nice because it's open source. People can go in there and design entire packages for different uh, to control different things. So, for example, we use this also companion software uh, to control all of our Pro Presenter um, graphics and everything. So, download companion and then you go ahead and add your switcher in, and you can find the Blackmagic switcher plugin. Plug that in there, and so we'll select a button. And I'll show you just how I have these programmed. You can click uh, presets here and then select Blackmagic Design and Program or Preview. Um, there, there are so many different options there. Um, the way I have the, the bottom bus, like I said, is going to be the Preview bus. So we'll select Preview. And then it shows you all of your inputs um, from your switcher. It gets all the names and everything from there. So you'll see we have them cameras one through four, drums, our alpha key, and then our Pro Presenter 7, and then SDI blank. And so, yeah, we can select camera one there and just drag it to where it needs to go. And now that's obviously outside of this hardware piece, but it's still on the software there. And um, you can scroll down and see how they have it set up. I have mine set up to show program also. So it's another instance feedback. You can add it in to say change colors from one ME program source. And I have that going, going red. That way there's no mistaking which... Um, which camera is live at a time. So yeah, 
pretty simple and straightforward. And the the difference that it makes is incredible. If you're if you're on a church on a small budget, but wanting to be able to to achieve as as much as you possibly can, I cannot recommend Stream Decks enough. We've got uh, a total of three of them installed, and we use them all the time. Um, the last feature I want to show you, we'll get more into how we have ProPresenter set up um, on on our ProPresenter video. This is just the um, black magic or the ATEM, the, the switcher control. Um, but I have two buttons that I love. Well, actually three. And they, they all connect to our stream graphics computer, which is running ProPresenter 7. So I can connect to that computer from this computer and control it from this stream deck. And so my, one of my favorite buttons that I use all the time is this slide. Right now it says NA of NA but it tells me how many slides are left in each presentation. So for example, during the sermon, it'll say you're on slide 20 of 30 or something like that. That gives me a really practical way to know, okay, this is how many uh, slides I have left. So this is about how much time I have left, even if they end up going over um, what we have set in planning center. And then the other button that's amazing and doesn't work right now, but are these two that say stream start and stream clear all. Now I've got those on a separate page. Um, you get 90 and yeah, 99 total pages. So you can go to town and have as many different pages as you have set up. But um, the stream start button is what I use to trigger our, um, our pre-service video for the stream because that starts and then the countdown video is triggered by our graphics person in, in the house. Um, but I've got that button and then I also have the clear all button as kind of a, a panic button if something happens or something goes crazy on there. I can clear it on the stream and uh, then we don't have to worry about it and we can keep going with what we're going. So so yeah, all my inputs here. I've got my, um, these are my two buses basically. My program, or my, rather my program is up top and then my previews along the bottom. I've got my up and down buttons, the slide button, I'll go over here also. So then I've got my slides button, and then I have this Pro, Present, Pro 7 button, which puts the Pro Presenter feed in preview for if we're playing videos or something. And then I also have my uh, downstream key button. So this button is set up to turn the down, just an auto transition for the downstream key. And we use the downstream key to key over our lyrics or our sermon slides, and it puts them on the lower third of the screen. So you can see here. Oh, it's not even set up. Perfect. So we have uh, our downstream key one, key source, or fill source rather, is going to be ProPresenter 7, and then key source is alpha key. And we have this running out of our uh, iMac up front, and it runs back into the both the alpha key and the ProPresenter 7 feed both run into the switcher, and then we mix them here. Um, we've absolutely loved running it that way. It's, we haven't had any problems at all. You can also uh, just run your ProPresenter 7 output with um, just a green background, and then you can use an upstream key and your Luma keyer to key it out. Um, Bethel Production has a really good video on that and how to do that. We'll uh, we can we'll link their video here as well if you're if you're wanting to to learn more about keying. We won't go into all that, but yeah, I wanted to give you guys a quick run through of the Stream Deck. It's it's incredible. Like I said, it, it's completely changed our workflows and just allowed us to work so much better as a team and um, it's freed up from a video directing perspective. It's really helped get the same workflow that you would have even if you have a giant 2ME advanced control panel, but for a fraction of the cost, you're able to have a very similar workflow um, as someone running a giant control panel, but again, on a, on a really small budget. So thanks for joining us. We hope this was helpful. If you guys have any comments, seriously, please let me know in the comments and Aaron or I will be able to get back to you. Um, also make sure you, uh, you, you comment and tag, tag Aaron, ask him where he was at. He's a, uh, he's not here today. So we got to give him a hard time for, for not showing up for a shoot. He loves, he absolutely loves being on camera, but thank you guys so much for, for joining us. Like I said, let me know if you have any questions and, uh, we'd love to help you guys out. So have a great day.